Major difference between wealthy people and poor people is how they choose to use their money. All right. A, a wealthy person focuses on acquiring assets, investing in assets, and a poor person focuses on putting their money into liabilities, you know, to look as if they have money. You know, and it's not that, don't get me wrong, it's not that wealthy people don't purchase liabilities, but they allow their investment, their assets to generate cash flow to pay for their liabilities, while a poor person will allow their income to pay for their liabilities, not their assets. And I had a very, uh, you know, real experience that took place about three weeks ago. All right. Uh, a lady was introduced to me because she was interested in purchasing a car. Uh, she had recently got into a car accident. And she wanted to buy, uh, you know, a brand new car. So when she came to my office, she told me the kind of car she want, uh, she wanted and the year, you know, and I asked her, you know, what, what is your budget? Now, her budget to purchase a brand, a car was $20,000, all right? Now, of course, my first question was, you know, are you leasing this? You know, are you leasing or are you, you know, getting this on a, on a uh, you know, on a car note? And she said, no, she had $20,000 cash to purchase a car. Now, what baffled me was she was working a minimum paying job. Right. So it wasn't like she was making one hundred thousand dollars a year or whatever the case may be. She was literally working almost seven days a week. Right. And earning minimum wage. So she was fortunate enough to be disciplined to save twenty thousand dollars because she was doing some sort of contribution, which was great. But to take all that money and dump it into a liability was an issue, at least for me. Right. So I, I told her, I said, man, look, I'm a car dealer. All right. I can help you get a car, you know, 2010 model, right? Great mileage. And you spend about seven to $8,000 on a car. And then you take the rest of that money and you invest it or you, you know, start a business, do something that will help you to earn more money on a, you know, monthly basis. By the look on her face, I knew that she wasn't having it, right? And of course, I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't trying to pressure her, uh, her into my own you know, ideology. So I left it alone, right? I helped her to look for the car, the year she was looking for. In fact, the car ended up costing more than $20,000 and she paid cash for it. And what really baffled me was that the, the people uh, that refer, the person that referred her to me said that the reason why she wanted that type of car was because her colleagues, right? Where she worked were driving nice cars. And based on her status, she needed to have this type of car. And I thought to myself, like, my goodness, this lady was comparing herself with other people earning the same minimum wage, right? You know, when you hear the words, you know, or the terminology, birds are the same feather flock together, it's not, a, it's not just a saying, it's reality. You see what I'm saying? So she's comparing herself with people who are already at this level because of her mindset. Now, it's not just her. Millions of people think like that, right? They will rather look rich than to do the things that will help you to become rich. And that's why I said that the major difference between wealthy people and poor people is just how they think, their, their mindset and how they, how they relate with money. Because I, I, and I'm thinking to myself, I, I was thinking to myself, look, if this lady only knew the power of what she had at that point, $20,000, more than that, right? How she could have easily taken that money and within a year, even double that money, right? Investing or starting some kind of opportunity. But her mindset was not programmed for that. Her mindset was programmed to purchase liabilities. So the, the, the first thing that anyone who's looking to eradicate poverty, eradicate lack in their lives, is you must stop investing in liabilities. You can't expect to be wealthy and your main focus is on your appearance. You know, and I even told her, I said, man, look, I make a lot of money doing what I do, right? I wasn't bragging. I was just telling her the reality. But I said, if you go outside right now, 
I am currently driving a 2006 vehicle. Not because I can't afford a brand new one, but my mind is programmed to invest in assets, not liabilities. So when the right time comes, when I feel like, you know, I need to get a new car, I'll do that. But right now, my car is working perfectly just fine. You know, so I think, you know, the biggest hurdle that people need to overcome is this, right? When you begin to change this, everything else about your life begins to change, right? Uh, it was John Maxwell that says, change your life, change, uh, change your thoughts, change your life. When you change the way you think, everything about your life will change. But the key is you have to stop investing in liabilities and start investing in assets. That is the only way to get well to become wealthy. There's no other way out, you know, out of it, right? You're either starting a business or you're investing in something that will make you more money. It's that simple.